Miss Miller, I'm glad to see you here. Oh, Constable Zellner, I heard what happened to you on board. Awful, truly awful. All's well that ends well. You are waiting for Professor Lucien? Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, you'll be sailing down the Nile, if I heard correctly. That's right. I'm sure it will be an amazing experience. But you don't seem to be very excited. Oh, but I am. It's very generous of Lady Westmacott to invite me, and especially Maddie. He'll learn a lot. But? Well, Professor Lucian offered to join us. Then Matt will learn even more. And I'm sure it won't be unpleasant for you, either. No, I... I just don't know how Maddie would react if Edgar came with us. I understand. I could test the water to see how he'd feel about it. Would you do that? Oh, thank you, Constable Zellner. Were you able to find out why Professor Lucien left the forecastle so suddenly last night? No, not really. We only had a brief conversation. He was still very nervous. He was like that on the train as well. Seems to be typical of him. It must be something to do with the burglary at the museum. It really affected him. But he told me not to worry about anything. He said, soon this would all be over. Really? How did he mean that? Oh, I... I didn't ask him, Constable. Are there other passengers from the ship here? Oh, yes, we arrived as a group. David Kreutzer, the violinist, was with us. So were Miss Myers and Mr. Inch. He seems to have gotten over the death of the Baroness pretty quickly. He seems positively relaxed. I've met him. He looks on the bright side of life, so to speak. Where is Mr. Kreutzer? He's over in the treasure chamber. Maddie is downstairs in the main hall. I'm afraid I'll hear the sound of something priceless shattering any second. Matt will be careful, Miss Miller. I'll continue my tour of the museum. Oh, yes, there's so much to see. Locked. The door is closed if the guard room isn't occupied. That makes sense. Though I would have expected the guard room to be occupied all the time, especially on a day like today. heard of this. Desert glass. In the great sand sea of the Libyan desert, there's a region where natural glass is found. Nobody knows how it formed. The valuable material was often used for jewelry in ancient Egypt. shows how the ancient Egyptians were able to move the heavy blocks of stone to build their pyramids and temples. They used ropes, wooden sleds, and poles as levers. These exhibits aren't originals, of course. They're reconstructed, based on old pictures. Nonetheless, it's impressive how they managed to build monuments like the pyramids with such simple tools. Several daggers in a row. Their shapes and patterns look timeless, elegant. What does it say here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The dagger on the left is a replica of the dagger from the tomb of Tutankhamen. 
It must have been incredibly precious during his lifetime because it's made of iron. Thousands of years before the Ice Age, meteorites were the only source of pure iron. So a star that fell from the sky, bringing a substance that's harder than anything they'd known before, would have been a dramatic event. No wonder they used it to forge a weapon for the godlike Pharaoh. This is Akhenaten, the only pharaoh whose portrait I always recognize. He has a very unusual head. Akhenaten was the husband of Nefertiti and the father of Tutankhamen, a famous family. But he went down in history as the pharaoh who wanted to eliminate the old gods and replace them with a single god. The priests took offense and... He died of unknown causes. A figure of Imhotep, who comes in peace from around 2700 BC. The first polymath known by name, godfather of medicine, architect of the first pyramids, and according to legend, the inventor of Egyptian writing. He certainly achieved more than me in his life. He was a legend. The Greeks called him a god. The Romans still honored him 3,000 years after his death. Even today, scholars offer a drop of ink to Imhotep when they begin a new project. Really impressive. Impressive, isn't it? Thousands of years old, and still beautiful. That it is. They dug it out of the sand near Thebes over 50 years ago. I was there. Really? I met my husband there. He was an assistant on the dig, and was ordered by the director of the excavation to take care of that writer. I financed many excavations in the following years, here in Egypt and in the Near East. I visited my husband, together with our son. It was the best time of my life. But a museum is no place for nostalgia. What can I do for you? You've had a long and successful life, Lady Westmacott. What's that supposed to mean, Mr. Zellner? That I should be ready to leave the stage? Because I'm not. Oh, I didn't want... I'm here because life is here, Constable. Or was. I have never lived as much as I have here. No fame, no money can buy that. I understand. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Constable Zellner. Such an outburst isn't fitting for a woman of my age, and an English woman at that. Let's talk about something else. Your son. You haven't said much about him. Or perhaps you did, just not by name. You're an attentive listener, Mr. Zellner. I was wondering why you knew so much about Miss Miller's unhappy marriage. I stopped paying his bar tabs. Stopped paying reporters to hush things up. He got to know her and went with her to America to start a new life. You can change your name easily, but not who you really are. He has my eyes, doesn't he? The part two novel is for him, isn't it? If I couldn't provide Matthew with a good father, then at least I can provide him with a good start in life. When I was working on the ship, I felt like one of the detectives in your novels. You were lucky. It was an unusual murder. Most murders happen in the heat of the moment or are committed by idiots. They're uninspired. But Gebhardt thought it through. He could have succeeded. Hmm. I don't know. He made too many mistakes. He couldn't have known that the Baroness, almost unconscious from the drugs, would lock her cabin door. But that was a risk. 
The plan was too complicated and sloppily executed. You certainly are a harsh critic, Mr. Zelda. He could have shot her on the side deck and thrown the weapon into the sea. With no witnesses, no one would have suspected him. How boring. Or if it had to be a complicated plan, then he should have worked more carefully. Should have thought of everything, had a plan B in place. Maybe he didn't have enough time. He had only a few hours to plan and commit the murder. Still, he should have covered his tracks more carefully. The audio tape, the bloody glove, none of that should have stayed in the medical center. Was? Do you think he's dead? The letter sounded like he committed suicide. There's your answer. Does that sound like the Raven? Being unmasked? Taking the easy way out? My sentiments exactly. The Raven wouldn't commit murder, get caught, and then jump into the sea. You don't want everything to be over, do you? It's my chance to do something great. It can't be over yet. At least you solved the murder of the Baroness. You're a hero. That's not how the newspapers see it. Nor I. Something's missing. I can achieve more. Careful, Constable. He who flies too close to the sun... Is that the myth of Icarus? To be honest, no. The story is Greek, and was only written down a thousand years later. I was counting on the dramatic effect. Oh, worked well enough. Let's assume that the thief is still out there. Who is he? If all this were a novel, then it would be the one you least expect. Is that intended to be a confession, Lady Westmacott? What do we know about the new Raven? He's a man who would stop at nothing. Must it be a man? And how do we know that it's just one person? There could be several people collectively pretending to be the Raven. So, we don't know anything. That's not completely true. We know that he or she wants the Eye of the Sphinx and will probably strike here, assuming he or she hasn't already gone. It may be the end of the story for me, Lady Westmacott. Inspector Legrand will arrive soon and send me to the hotel. I return tonight for the gala, hoping all the while that the Raven does dare to attempt a burglary. Tomorrow morning, I'll have to return to Switzerland. What an unsatisfactory ending that would be. It wouldn't be a triumphant ending. But it could be worse. At least you'd still be alive, Constable. Will you attend the gala tonight, Lady Westmacott? But of course. The antiquities, the delightful atmosphere. And who knows? Perhaps there will be another spectacular burglary. And your cruise? The ship doesn't leave until tomorrow. And believe me, I'd cancel the cruise for this. As always, it was an entertaining and enlightening chat, Lady Westmacott. I'm going to miss our little chats, Constable Zellner. Goodbye. Ahoy, Matt. The statue was talking. The statue was talking? Yes. And what did it say? It said it was... That's a very bad word. I know. And an English one. Don't you think it's odd that an old Egyptian statue speaks English? Don't you think it's odd that a statue speaks at all? That would have been my next question. And, uh, is the statue talking to you right now? Do you think I'm nuts? No, of course not. I just thought you might have much better ears than me. Ears that can hear statues. Some cop you are, Mr. Zellner. This is a mystery and you're just making jokes. You're right. It's just... Don't you believe me? Hmm. We both agree that a stone statue without a mouth or vocal cords cannot speak, right? Hmm. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Okay. That means you heard something else. And we have to find out what or who it was. Roger.
I'm almost a bit envious of you. Going up the Nile on a ship, it must be great. Yeah, I guess. You don't sound so keen. I think my mom wants the professor to come too. And you don't? You can't tell me. What if mom marries the professor and doesn't work with the lady anymore? We'd have to move to London and I'd have to go to a new school. You like your life as it is, and you don't want to change a thing, right? Mm-hmm. But have you ever thought about whether your mother is happy? The world doesn't revolve around you, you know. If you're unhappy, you have to do something. Sometimes you have to take a chance. And in that case, you need all the help you can get. Do you mean mom isn't happy? I don't know. What do you think? This will all be over soon. Then I'll finally have time for you. I, uh... We wanted to head back to the hotel. Certainly. And tonight at the gala, I'll show you around the museum, okay? And... Have you made up your mind about the cruise? Well... Well... I don't really know. Oh, come on, Mom. Who could teach us more about Egypt than the Professor? Then it's settled. Uh, I didn't expect you to say that. Well, Mom, sometimes you have to take a chance. Well? Who wants ice cream? Me! Actually, Mr. Zellner still owes me some. The statue is too heavy to move, and I don't see any gaps or cracks in the wall. I don't think I'll find anything here. I can't read what it says, but the cover features a dashing picture of Legrand. It shows an energetic young man photographed from beneath, against the sky. That's the look of a man who can catch a thief and murderer in a single day. Hmm.
I don't believe that Legrand spoke to the press himself. He doesn't seem to like the attention, and he wouldn't falsely take credit for something he hadn't done. Ancient Egyptian jewelry. I like that golden signet ring with a scarab made of jasper. In ancient Egypt, these beetles were regarded as symbols of fertility. Nowadays, we just call them dung beetles. I suppose the beetles don't really care. Exclusive and unique. The eyes of the Sphinx exhibited together for the first time ever. Hopefully the visitors will be satisfied with a single eye. Otherwise, all this effort will be for nothing. Unfortunately, now it's just the eye of the Sphinx. But it's a bit too late to change the banner. Moment. Professor Lucien, your key, please. Uh, yes. Well... Come on, Professor. But you have to realize that... Uh... Thank you. Finally! But... but... Ahem. Professor? I, uh... I wanted to give you this. Oh! <gasps> I... Well... After the burglary in London, I thought the Eye might not be safe on its way to Egypt. So I secretly took it when I was supposed to place it in the safe in London. How dare you? I felt that I should leave the jewel to someone I trusted completely. Myself. But the jewel was safe. From London to here, no one had an opportunity to steal it. I beg your pardon, my dear colleague. But if that were true, I wouldn't have had it. Congratulations, Professor Lucien. You fooled everyone, it seems. The honor is yours. that. Shall I explain the security system to you, Inspector? The French ambassador summoned me. I have to get in touch with him. The press is besieging the embassy, and I have to answer their questions. But you absolutely must come tonight. The opening of the exhibition will be the highlight of the year, and you are my special guest. I will see what I can do. Zellner, will you have a look at the security precautions? We'll see each other tonight. Of course, but... Wait, Inspector. I'll join you. Well, here we are. The Inspector will answer the reporter's questions for the next few hours. And I... Well... I won't take up too much of your time. I'll take a look around and then go lie down so that I'm ready for tonight. What's in the other display cases? Other valuable originals. The eyes of the Sphinx would have been the highlights of our exhibition. Now that we only have one left, it doesn't really outshine the other valuables anymore. This room is full of world-class treasures. How is the display case protected? It's made of bulletproof glass that's several centimeters thick. You'd need heavy machinery to open it. But even the smallest disturbance of the display case will set off the alarm. Hmm, doesn't look half bad. A glass cutter wouldn't be much use. Is the display case anchored to the floor? 
Why do you ask? The Raven once stole a whole display case in St. Petersburg instead of just taking the jewels out of it. Such an attempt would fail here. The display case is bolted to the floor and weighs several hundred kilograms. Many people picture a stone coffin when they hear the word sarcophagus, but this one is wooden. As usual, an ornamental representation of the deceased is painted on the outside in gold and other colors. What's that? A camera? The latest model. It's called Video Surveillance. I've heard about that. The images are recorded and can be viewed again later. That's right. Images from all three cameras are recorded in the guardroom. Wow. As I've said, we've spared no effort and no expense. This here, the gate, how does it work? If the alarm is set off, the metal gate descends. The same thing happens at the windows and the main entrance. The thief is trapped like a rat. As are we. Hmm. Next, I'll uh, show you our guard room, the heart of the whole security system. And after that, I'll have to excuse myself. Alert the guards. Then call the French Embassy. Le Grand needs to come. Have a seat and try to calm down. That bloody bomber! I mean, the chamber was filled with irreplaceable treasures! The gate is massive. I can't open it myself. The gate is... The gate... The gate... Director Mohta? Director, 
How can I open the metal gate? He shouldn't have done that. Director. All the artifacts in the treasure chamber. He destroyed them. And I will bring him to justice. But first, I have to get inside. He's pale and shaking, probably in shock. Perhaps I'll get something out of him in a couple of minutes. This security gate is also closed. Once the alarm went off, no one could have left through the official exits. I'll leave the gate closed until Legrand has surrounded the museum with his army of policemen. I'll leave the... Constable Oliver! Don't move! What did you do? I didn't do anything. But I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna arrest you. Put the pistol away. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Robert, be sensible. Shut it! Is... is he dead? Just unconscious. Perhaps he can tell us who knocked him out. Excellent. Don't act all innocent. It was you. I was in the treasure chamber with the director. You, on the other hand, had every opportunity to take the guard out. I found him unconscious. I wanted to open the gates. And make it easier for the raven to escape? That does it. On the floor. Hands behind your head. Why aren't you in the embassy with Inspector Legrand talking to the press? What are you talking about? Legrand refused to do it. What? He told the ambassador that he'd rather walk through the desert for 40 years than give interviews for 40 minutes. We have to open the treasure chamber's gate. I suspect there's a secret entrance. No. We should open the main entrance and call for help. Robert, think. The raven is inside the museum, and so are we. We could catch him, but we have to give chase immediately. The two of us can finish it here and now. You... you just want to confuse me. Robert, I don't think you knocked this man out, but neither did I. I was with the director the entire time. Ask him. That doesn't mean you aren't involved somehow. You could be working with the raven. So could you. We can suspect each other, open the exits, and offer the Raven every possible escape route. Or we can bring him to justice, right here, right now. Oh, okay. But just get this straight. I don't trust you. I'll keep an eye on you, and if you try to get away... Understood. I'll try to open the gate to the treasure chamber now. I'd appreciate it if you'd refrain from accidentally shooting me. No tricks, Zelna. And if we don't find anything in the treasure chamber, we'll open the gate at the main entrance and call Inspector Legrand. Of course. What are you doing? I was looking for this. I think he's okay. After we've checked the treasure chamber, we should call an ambulance. Dead. Hmm. Maybe someone stirred something into the coffee and poisoned him with it. But the bump on the back of his head would indicate otherwise.
We can't call for help. The line's dead. Does the alarm system call the police automatically? If not, or if it was also disconnected, I'm not sure that anyone out there knows what's happening inside the museum. I guess no one heard the explosion from outside. The treasure chamber doesn't have any windows, and the metal gates that came down could just be part of a test. Locked. A monitor, probably for viewing the security cameras. There are five buttons down here, three of them labeled. Camera one, camera two, camera three. This should be the one in the treasure chamber. As I expected, it didn't survive the explosion. All right, how do I... Hmm. Fantastic. That's me, with the director. Now it's getting exciting. What on earth? You damaged it. No, I didn't. Someone must have turned the camera off. Or... No, it's still recording, but something's covering the lens. There. That was the explosion. Mmm. Interesting. Why is it interesting? Someone was in the treasure chamber. And they disabled the camera. And? And, just a few minutes later, the alarm went off and everything blew up. The burglar hardly had time to prepare a targeted explosion, right? Ah. One more reason to go and see what happened in the treasure chamber. Hmm. Various bits and bobs for the office routine. Looks like even the guards can't avoid mountains of paperwork. Constable Oliver can't honestly think that I'm the Raven. He must realize that I never had a chance to set a bomb. Although he may think that I could be an accomplice. As could he. Hmm. Blueprints for the museum. Every gate seems to be controlled by its own switch. This should be the gate for the treasure chamber. Hmm, that's it. There's nothing more I can do here. Where do you think you're going? I'm searching for a way into the treasure chamber, which is exactly what you should be doing. I'll give you five minutes, then we'll follow my plan. Open the main entrance and call for backup. Let's hope for both our sakes that I find a way into the treasure chamber before then. I don't want to be responsible for the escape of the Raven. Director Mokhtar, I can't open the gate. Is there another way into the treasure chamber? No. Only one way. Only one. If you would be so kind. <sighs> Uh, uh, no. 
That won't work. I could have told you that. The explosion wasn't strong enough to seriously damage the gate, but maybe it's a bit warped. At any rate, it won't open. The explosion, but maybe... Hmm, the lances look sturdy, but they also seem to be firmly connected to the figures. Maybe I can break them off. On the other hand, there's been enough destruction today. Do you have any idea how we can open the gate? We've got to open the main gate and call for backup. No, you gave me five minutes and my time isn't up yet. The director won't help me. Whether I want to or not, I have to stick with the constable. Locked. It fits. Constable? It's... it's moving. Uh, uh, no, not quite there yet. That might help. All right. It has to work. Constable Oliver, could you lend me a hand? On three. One, two, three! <laughs> Director Mokta, hurry! Put something under the gate! Huh? Director!
No luck. It won't open any further. Put it down, quick! That'll, uh, that'll hold it. I wouldn't bet on it. We should hurry. And inform Inspector Legrand. First, I'll get an overview of the situation. <laughs> you don't think I'm gonna leave you all alone with a jewel, do you? I doubt that the jewel is still in the treasure chamber. But how? I'll be watching you. Then you'll have to come with me. If you haven't heard anything from me in five minutes, me, not Constable Zellner, then open the entrance and call for help. Understood? Okay. Let's hope that at least some of the artifacts withstood the explosion. Why didn't he just drive through the wall with a tank, reckless ignoramus? Fortunately, the ceiling is quite high, and the gate was still ajar. Otherwise, nothing in this room would have survived the shockwave. I suppose the camera was hit by a chunk of flying debris. It will take a long time to clean and restore everything, and some things are surely lost. Forever. The remains of the cordon. Give me some light. Mm. The cord is too short. It'd be no better than jumping. You don't want to go down there, do you? That's how the Eye left the treasure chamber. Oh no, uh-uh, no way. We've seen enough. The Raven is gone. We need to get Legrand. Great. You happy now? You could say that. Will you give me some light? Come on, I can't see. There's the display case. Is the jewel still in it? I can't tell. Hello? I hope you don't expect anyone to answer you. Clasps aren't really made for heavy weights, but I think they're strong enough. Not the best rope in the world, but it will have to do. I let myself down into the hole with the rope. You can't be serious. This isn't a matter for discussion. I'm going down there. You can join me or stay here. But you, you don't know what or who is down there. That's why I want to go down there. Besides, maybe I'll find an escape route for us. Oh, all right then. Should, uh, should I hold the rope? I, uh, yes, thanks.
I'm down. Give me some light, Robert. Shine the light over there, please. Mmm, a map of Cairo. It's covered with hundreds of small holes, and there are some pins on the floor. There's a date in the corner. 1940. Shine the light over there, please. Interesting. Documents, maps, letters, all of them at least 20, 30 years old. I wonder how the Raven knew about the secret basement. He must have done some research and then paid someone for the missing information. I'm going to examine the display case now. As I expected... Empty? Yes. The display case didn't survive the fall. The thief just had to pluck the jewel out. Actually, I thought the display case would survive the fall more or less unscathed. And three of the four windows did survive. Hmm... What's that? Hey, don't go too far away. Come down and stop me, or stay there and give me some light. Interesting. Some kind of wooden hatch. There are two hinges on this side. There's a kind of metal hook holding the hatch closed. I am the talking statue. I really like to teach bad words to the little boys. At least that riddle is solved now. Peepholes. And I suspect... Yes. Mm. The raven couldn't have gone this way. We'd have seen him, and he couldn't have closed the bolt from outside. There must be another entrance. Why is it suddenly so bright down there? I found the light switch. There are cracks in the wall and scarf marks on the floor. A secret door? And probably the Raven's escape route. Can you open it? There are several panels uh, and a uh, kind of a handle. But I can't turn or pull or push it. Something's written here, but it's too dark. Hurry down with the light. No, the Raven is trapped. We should call the ground. Do you think this door leads to a dead end? With every minute we hesitate, the Raven's trail is getting colder. But, uh, we should take it one step at a time. We're alone, and the Raven is dangerous. What would Nicholas Legrand do in this situation? Would he wait for backup and twiddle his thumbs, or would he act? Oh, blast. Robert, 
This is our moment. Time to show them all. When the others arrive, they'll see that we didn't just dare to enter the basement. No, we also found an escape route and opened it. How do you think that will sound on the police report? Constable Oliver and Constable Zellner laid the foundation for the arrest of the Raven with competence and quick thinking. Okay, here's what we do. I'll hand you the lamp and you open the door. Then we guard the door and wait for backup. I couldn't have put it better myself. Right. Catch! But hurry, I don't want to think about the fact that I'm standing here in the dark, surrounded by mummies. That's better. is interesting. Four discs. Hmm. An extravagant combination lock. If it was just another language with a Latin alphabet, I might be able to guess the meaning. But I'm lost when it comes to Arabic. I'll write them down. It could be a hint about how to open the door. Thank <laughs> you. 